Charlie. I had business to take Stop. care of before the game. Yeah, let's come in, boys. Let's I'm come in. Bed. I'm on the bed, Charlie. Yeah, boys, bring yeah, it in. One minute, bring one in. minute. Bring it in. Bring it in. One minute, Steve. One minute, Steve. Yeah, yeah, bring it in, boys. Come in, come in, come in. Rob, you're not paid. No. Don't pay first, thanks. You don't pay first. Hey, what are you saying, Paul? Obviously, big game. Make sure we obviously get the win. Yeah, put the pressure on by us next week. Shut up. Joe, go on. Where you go? Alright, boys, we win this game, yeah? Next week, all we need is a draw against Philo's team. Barnest. We got a good team tonight. Fred, Dan, Alf, me, Alec, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. What, what I will say, boys. Listen, listen. What I will say. What I will say, boys, is let's not concede any shit goals today, okay? I.e., follow your runners. Okay. okay? okay what's the it's very, very simple. <laughs> if anyone loses their runner, you're getting dragged off. Yes, simple as that. Right, right we're starting down at the bottom. Joe, Shuffle. Yeah. Alec and Fred is a double duo. It's coming after ten minutes. Yes. Any fight? No, I don't know. Yes guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another Fiverr Side video on the channel. As you can see today, it's a Thursday night. We're in our beautiful yellow kits down at Golds Bexley Heath. And this is our second to last game of the season. Today, we have got Par, who are a very decent team. They also have a team in our Monday League. So um, we've brought out a few big players and they brought out a few of their good players and all that I recognise, especially this fella on the ball. He's a very decent player. Um, but yeah, as I said in the team talk at the start of the game, this is our second to last game of the season. We're playing Barnhurst um, in our last game of the season. So as long as we win this game, we should be set to win the league. So let's get straight into this one and see how it goes. Boys, slow it down to our pace. Thank you. No. Yes. No. Let's go. So that's a bit pony from myself in our half giving away the ball and they punish. To be fair, they probably have started quicker than us, but now it's Dan Tinson and George Hunter linking up well and Dan comes very close. So still 1-0 down and it's George Hunter on the ball and sometimes when you're 1-0 down and it's not going your way, you need luck. George Hunter's got that. Go George! So, one all on the scoreline now. Aiden rolls it out to Alfie Kerno. He spins his man and finds the far corner. 2 1. Kerno, that's class. That's class. 2 1. So thanks to Alfie Kerno finding that bottom left hand corner, it's now 2-1 to us. As you can see, Fred Nice and Alec have made their way onto the pitch. It's George Hunter taking a shot, but the one in the blue blocks it. Falls back to Dan at the back, he then finds George Hunter again, and he don't need a second chance. Finish! Oh! Finish you. 3-1! Oh, lucky George. So, Alec just doing enough now as Aiden found George Hunter out on the left, and there's one thing you don't want Fred to do cut in on his left. Well done. 4 1. So, Parr on the attack coming close. Luckily, it just goes past the post. It's now Dan Tinson clearing up the mess. He gives it into Aiden. Aiden will take his time here. Finds George Hunter, who plays a quick one two with Fred and finds the back of the net again. Superb. Superb. Gentlemen, 15 play. That is class. Shut the keeper! Shut the keeper! Good! 
So the ball falling back to Aiden, he finds Alfie Kernel on the left hand side, cutting into the middle, probably looking to have a shot, but goes back to Fred in the middle of the park. Fred then finds out, and now have you done this, you cheeky bastard? <laughs> Six one on the scoreline now, and I don't think we're finished celebrating. It's the one in the lime green shirt running at me and Alfie Kerno, and it takes a double deflection. Nothing we can do about that. So it's very sloppy from us conceding two goals in about literally one minute, one after the other. It's now Aiden rolling it out to our number 11, Fred Nice, on his left foot. Posting in. Finish. Seven. Finish. Seven. Seven three. Wait, Steve, are they little earmuffs? Yes, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yes, my, my young lady got me for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so Robbie and the ref busy talking about earmuffs from his missus on the sideline, and unfortunately distracts the ref so badly that he can't see that Fred's outside the area there, making it eight three to us. But unfortunately, this allows the goal and it stays 7-3 and that is going to be the end of the half. I'm going to let the rest of the half play out, but that is going to mean that we go into the half time 7-3 up. Good lad, now you shot it. Well, let's keep it in. Yeah, set it in, it. Oh, 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 it. Joe! Go, Joe! Joe, 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 Boys, what a half. 8 3. Good off. Good off, eh? Good off. What are you seeing when you're throwing it to the other team, mate? What did you see there? I've got the ball. I've been there, 8 3. Great, great shift. Rob, he's still hanging from Saturday, apparently. Oh, from Shoreditch. He's still hanging. He's talking shit. Like oh, you come to work yesterday, shit. like, oh, I feel so shit. No, I didn't, though, did yes, I? I was. <laughs> Don't lie. Making it up, I do not lie. You said that yesterday. Yeah, he didn't fucking turn up at Shoreditch. He fucking bottled it. Joe won't edit it. I might catch a couple of strays. I know, boy, seriously, that's good off. Hunter. Hunter. Hunter, round of applause, mate. Round of applause. You're zooming into my face. Just control the game at the back. They've got to come to you now. So just control the game, yeah? And then whoever's up front, George, Al, whoever, it will come to you. It will come to you, and then all you've got to do is just set the run out or score. That's it. They've got to chase the game, so they have to press. So just control it at the back, be smart at the back. The last two goals for them was shit, though. Yeah, we know that, yeah? So set a standard that you don't fucking do that, yeah? All right, so make sure we're doing it smart at the back, yeah? And when it's on, Play it into the forward because it works every single time. They yeah? can't touch, Apart from that, can't touch Hunter, it's perfect. Yeah, just keep tracking the runners, keep working hard. All right, everyone. Um, hey, what is it, bro? Shout out BN Union. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get at them in the, in the link in the description. Yeah? Uh, do you want to say anything about your company, BN what? Union? No. What, what do you sell? Loads of snide stuff. Is this is it actually fake? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not putting that in if it's fake. 
Hey. Shout out being in here. Wait, it's the, way, it's the way you turn Radagon. Oh, is it fight? Yeah. <laughs> You're fight. So a couple of minutes now into the second half, it forced George Hunter in the middle of the park, standing up his man. He tries to find Alfie Kerno. Alfie Kerno trying to flick it round their defender. It falls to the one with a mop of hair for par. It then Dan blocking it, falls to Fred Nias, eventually finds George Hunter out on the left-hand side. He gets away from the one in the light blue top like he's not even there. He's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and George Hunter finds the far post. 8-3. So Aiden are collecting the ball after Parr's attack fall through. Fred Nice lets it run for his legs. He gets it back. Don't know why he didn't volley that with his right foot. It then falls to Dan who looks to go back to our goal but then has a shot. But just like a centre half, he clears it. Then it's Aiden rolling it to Alfie Kerno. Alfie Kerno runs all the way from our half into their half. Has a shot and finds the bottom right-hand corner. 9-3. Great goal. So 9-3 now and myself and Alec make our way back onto the pitch. It's Alfie Kerno standing up there, man. I go over to make the block. It's now this one in the blue uh, running towards me. I actually do kick him. Um, I won't say it was by accident because it was on purpose. But I give away a shit free kick. It's now then with a long range shot. Alfie Kerno stopping the ball dead. Goes back to Aiden eventually. Aiden finds George Hunter. George Hunter now driving down the right hand side. Fake shots it finds out. Puts it back into Hunter and there's an amazing save from their keeper, keeping it 9 3. Five minutes to go, boys. Subs. So nothing really coming from our last couple of attacks. It's now me in the bottom left-hand corner. I ping it out to George Hunter. He stands up his man. Gets me an assist finding that bottom left-hand corner. George. Ah. Hunt, sign the contracts. Oh, Alec. Oh. Alec Tuesday. So Georgie Hunter winning us a free kick, he takes it quickly, goes back to Alfie Kerno. 
Um, he slows the game down to our pace, running towards Aiden. Eventually, he's going to slide it into him. I mean, we're seven goals up, so there's really no need to rush. Eventually, Alec Tuesday gets the ball, gives it into Alfie. He's driving down the left-hand side, dribbling. Takes a good shot, but it's a good save from their goalkeeper. So a shitty mistake from me and Parr nearly come very close to scoring. It's now Alfie Kerner giving it over to George Hunter. He tries to get round his man in the green shirt, tries to nutmeg him, but unfortunately gets caught out. The green one lays it off to the one with the black top, but unfortunately don't want to score. It's now Aiden making a double save. Alfie Kerner eventually gives it back to Aiden. It's now George Hunter, two on two with their defenders. He gives it into Al. Al gives it back to him, and you know how that story ends. Well, Aiden, that come from your double save, mate. Oh, yeah. 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 Double save. Oh. Yes! So, 11-3 now. Par now on the attack. Alfie Kerner standing up the one in the black um, Dartford kit. He goes wide. I get there before the one with the green shirt. I slow it down, give it back to Aiden. Aiden then finds Georgie Hunter in the middle of the park, taking on the one with the light blue top. Um, looks to have a shot but finds Alfie Kerno and he somehow scores. I ain't even going to do a replay on that. That is so poor. But it's now 12-3 to the boys. So that is going to bring the video to an end. As you can see, the final score does end up R2J 12, par 3. So we managed to win by 9 goals, which is massive. Going into our final game of the season versus Barnhurst next week. So make sure you stay tuned for that episode. Um, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in next week's episode. R2J, out. Well done, well done. Good game, mate. Good game, good game, good game. Good game. Good game. Oh, I've pulled my coin really bad. Have you actually? Yeah.